do not get shots. Whatever you do, don't get shots. I don't think we can wholly dismiss the idea that Kim Kardashian's own formerly enlarged bottom was intended to attract black men. It is the number one most deadly operation in plastic surgery. It's about time someone called out the underlying reason for the overwhelming desire of rapper Cardi B for a large bottom. I was also really skinny when I was younger. And in the Bronx, it's about being thick and having an So young boys would be like, look at your flat You ain't got no And it would make me feel so ugly and underdeveloped. Cardi B clearly had no body confidence and, likewise, no answer to the highly upsetting taunts and jibes directed at her because of her body shape. And only a brainless jackass, like those who used to bully Cardi, would have no sympathy for her. Furthermore, I, personally, am mightily relieved that Cardi has lived to tell the tale of her illegal silicone butt injections, born, ultimately, from the years of victimisation that she endured. Not everyone does. Even though she developed leakage from her buttocks for several days, she still wanted to go back for a second treatment. But she couldn't because that woman was arrested because somebody died from these injections. Given Cardi B's words on the body type preferred in the Bronx, I don't think we can wholly dismiss the idea that Kim Kardashian's own formerly enlarged bottom was intended to attract black men, like her two former husbands. The same goes for Khloe Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, as you may know, sparked a long-lasting trend in a body shape characterised by large buttocks, wide hips and large breasts. This so-called slim thick body shape is agreed by many to have originated from the black community and not having it is precisely what Cardi B reports as the cause of the bullying that she used to get from her own community. Having proven many years ago, by means of an x-ray, that she hasn't got buttock implants, Kim Kardashian very probably had her own bottom enlarged with a Brazilian butt lift, BBL. To have a BBL, where fat is taken from the abdomen, say, and then transferred to the bottom, one naturally has to have enough spare fat on one's body. Before the surgery, I need to gain like 25 kilos, because uh, the more I gain, the better will the Bambi. Swedish influencer Natasha Crown has very different reasons to both Cardi B and Kim Kardashian for having her bottom made bigger. I have a goal to have a world because bum. Natasha's burning ambition though doesn't appear to spring from any bullying, which separates her from Cardi B, or from any interest in any particular male demographic, differentiating her, evidently, from Kim Kardashian. At the beginning it wasn't like that, it was like just having a bigger one. Yeah. And then like it would people it was like people that oh my god you have world because bum I was like no I have. So it was like the people who like mm. were like pumping me to like have bigger one. She's going about expanding her bottom in the same way that Kim Kardashian probably did. We've already performed uh, three Brazilian butt lifts for Natasha. Yes, you heard right. Natasha has had multiple Brazilian butt lifts. I don't know what was in the injections that social media personality Mary Magdalene has had to her bottom, but to enlarge in her bottom, she's also had buttock implants along with a series of BBLs. Uh, last week, a, a, a British woman died while she was having the, this bum lift. That as opposed to getting into the areas that you want it, the fat gets into the large veins, it goes up to your lungs and blocks the circulation to your lungs. That's called a fat embolus, and that kills people. In Florida, in the last six months, this has happened 12 times. This is one reason why I ask whether the BBL is stupid, or rather, whether people who get it are basically stupid. To quote some further deadly statistics, in 2017, 692 surgeons from across the world found that 32 patients had died from fat embolism. It is the number one most deadly operation in plastic surgery. Cardi B herself, who understands, probably more than most, the desire in some ladies for a bigger bottom, urges people to put their lives first. Like you literally have to make sure your blood levels are right. If a doctor say your blood levels is too low or you have diabetes or whatever the f don't do it. Don't ever risk it. Another reason why I ask if having a BBL makes someone stupid is because an enormous bottom looks stupid, to some at least. When I'm out, uh, people just stare, but that's it. But online, <laughs> there we have a different story. Adults are no less entitled to full autonomy over their body, I trust you'll agree. 
I would rather uh, live a short life, that is like 50 years, and do whatever I want to do instead of living longer life but boring. Come on. I ask the following question in late 2022. Is Kim Kardashian's dramatically reduced bottom no more than a dramatic publicity stunt? She was becoming stale and in her place, people of a similar age like Megan Fox and her own sister Kourtney Kardashian were starting to steal her spotlight. They were at the MTV VMAs with their brand spanking new partners looking like absolute babes and there was no real word about poor old Kim. Before I present the rest of Stephanie Lange's explanation for the slimming down of Kim's bottom and of the rest of her body, understand that Stephanie herself describes her explanation as a conspiracy theory. So in a way, she began trying to emulate her own sister, Courtney and Megan Fox, who incidentally, both happened to have slim figures. So Kim began to slim down and got herself a hot new boyfriend. And suddenly people were talking about her again. She was cool and trending again, just like Courtney and Megan. Or is Kim's heavily reduced bottom a means for the identifying of her social class? Now that BBLs, are everybody and their mama, nurses, teachers, housekeepers, all kinds of people are, you know, getting the care credit, do it. So now there's no distinction, right? There's no privilege. There's no, you're not pedestalized or idolized for having a BBL. If so, does this mean that Kim Kardashian, as well as Khloe Kardashian, who has also given up her curves, are happy to apparently repel sexual interest from black men? That the, the projection of their butt is a lot smaller, right? Like the hips, right? They have taken away the hips. The width of their hips is much narrower. They are intentionally, right, transforming themselves to go back to a traditionally white physical aesthetic. Or is Kim just following what appears to be the latest body trend, 90s skinny? Where women are concerned, there is, say experts, something of a sea change currently taking place, as at late 2022, in sought after body shapes. Up until recently, the trend was to make butts bigger. In fact, buttock augmentation has been one of the fastest growing plastic surgeries over the last 10 years. But today, it's the exact opposite. But there appears to be a trend in Hollywood of reducing the size of the buttocks back to a more realistic size and shape. Cardi B really ought to be listened to, in my opinion. Do not get shots. Whatever you do, don't get shots. The risks to your life coming from liquid silicone buttock injections, and also, to a much lesser degree admittedly, from a BBL, though, aren't the only reasons for shunning that treatment. The brainless jackasses that I referenced earlier should, as far as I'm concerned, have no influence whatsoever on one's life choices, precisely because inbred, brainless losers should never mean anything to anyone. If you've enjoyed this video, then I recommend you to watch this one next. I'll meet you there.